Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm David. We are back with another Amazing Race exit interview. Let's talk to Lulu and Lala. This was such a tough day. So hard to watch all of this go down for you guys. Let's start with the navigating from the Dalmatas to the food stand. Just tell me what happened. How long did this take? How'd you get so far off course? Okay, so we agreed right off the back that Lala was always going to drive because she says I drive like a maniac and that I was going to navigate, um, which I'm mostly good at here in the tri-state, in a different country, not so much. And so we were going fine up until we had to either keep going straight or make a left. That was confusing because they said at the stop sign, make a left. There was like five different stop signs. So that is what confused me. I'm like, which, which one are they talking about? And so we took a left and started going the opposite way. And that is really where all yeah. chaos started. And we kept going in circles, like in this park. So, and we're like, well, prior we're to that, on the beach. we stopped at a gas station to ask for directions. And the language barrier was like no other. Uh, we just could not communicate. They didn't understand us. We didn't understand them. Trying Even to write to them so they could read what I was writing. They couldn't understand. The alphabet them. is different too. So if I used their phone, it was in Greek. I couldn't even find the Google app. And even if I did, I could not type. So I was like, oh my God, this is not happening to us on this leg, but it yeah. did. And so we kept driving. And like Lala said, we were like in this park where we just kept, we were on the beach. It's said to be on the beach, but we were not at the right beach. Yeah. So we, we instead of going right, we, we went let left. Yeah. And um, then, driving to Mamos, there's like nothing. And so we're like, this can't be it. It's, it's, it's deserted. Like a deserted beach. There's no life of any kind. So we're like, yeah. we must have passed it. We have to have passed it. We make the decision to go back, which we shouldn't have done that. We should have just kept going straight. So mm. we lost a lot of time there. A lot. And then Lala sees Phil no, at the I pit didn't stop. See Phil. <laughs> I didn't see Phil. I didn't see the pit stop. Had I known that was a pit stop, yeah. I would So then this is it. We're going to start fighting again. No, so I told her, this is the pit stop. This can't be that easy. Like, this light yeah. can't be done. Um, but we ran up to Phil, said hello. <laughs> um, and then he's like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, we just wanted to check in. See you in five minutes. So yeah. Maybe five hours later, <laughs> no. so we saw oh, him. Oh, man. So, that whole time, I want to say that was like an hour and a half just yeah. going in circles. Oh, when yeah. we finally got it together and we started driving to Mamos, we see mm -hmm. Raquel and Kayla. Now, okay. we were already bad because I left Raquel at the Domales um, stand. She was last. So yeah, for her right. to be coming back, I'm like, we're, we're, this is not right. Oh, and we saw Kim and Penn at the pit stop already. Oh, so my gosh. We were like, Oh. they're done they're done like they're oh. such bad ass so we're like i can't believe this yeah, yeah. what's happening wow. so um when you guys when you got to the mamo stand finally oh i said to sarah last night i was like i wish the producers had made people eat more than one souvlaki because like you really wanted to be hard but when i saw y'all go in for the second one i was like no this oh. is heartbreaking and painful to see them like shoving this into their mouth but what were y'all thinking during that and how long were you there eating the souvlaki okay yeah. so prior to even eating the souvlaki we had to spell it and yeah. th that took another hour because yeah, it took like a 30 minute we were running through the beaches just asking everybody <laughs> it surprised me how even the people there didn't know how to spell souvlaki i'm like you guys can't hear. You should know how to spell it. There's behind the scenes of like, we literally asked a bunch of people and nobody knew. knew how to spell it. But um, that took time. When we finally got it right and then we had to eat it, here's the thing. We've never had Greek food in our life. I know it sounds weird. I've never had Greek yogurt. Um, and I don't like raw onions. I hate it. I've never had it. And this woman, Dimitri, she just... Pour them on, just pour them on. I think she did it on purpose. And I'm like looking at that. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to just swallow this down. This is this is gonna be tough for me. And the ironic part is that I'm 
the one with the sensitive stomach. Like I yeah. can't hold anything down. I'm looking at Lava like, are you really doing this right now? You better open your mouth, chew as fast as you could and swallow it. I'm not losing out to the Slovaki. Yeah. But we did. The second time around was tough. And I, I couldn't even tell the woman, Dimitri, she felt bad. She saw the tears in my eyes. And oh. she, I could tell she wanted to help, but she couldn't. Um, she didn't even want to give us the thing. She did it. <laughs> uh, I think in her mind, she was like, come on, like, figure it out. So that I don't have to give you this other one. But yeah. we didn't figure it out, and we had to chow down another one. I honestly felt bad for Lala because, uh, you know, she's my twin, and seeing her cry and gag and throw up and having to swallow that back in, it was so, I was so I, bad. like, I couldn't do anything for her. And at that point, I felt so defeated, and I, I knew, like, okay, this is our day. This is it. Um, but I still had that little hope that we were going to make it, and... Um, <laughs> She's more of like the realistic one. So this down, I knew she knew we were out. But I kept thinking, well, Boone and Natalia are very bad with directions. I kept praying that they would get lost <laughs> so that, you know, we could make it to the mat before yeah. them. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. No, yeah. it did not. Back at the Olive Grove, when you were grabbing the clue, I was very excited that you just like quietly grabbed that clue before you told Ryan and Dusty. <laughs> Big difference from waiting for Raquel in Corsica. Tell me about that lesson learned, your your view or perspective overall on working with other teams. So after what happened with Raquel, um, that really hurt my feelings. Like I took that so personal. personal and I didn't understand why I was feeling that. It's a race. Like I wasn't expecting her to hold my hand and run through that. And so when I realized, what am I doing? This is, this is a million dollars. Why am I waiting around? We told ourselves, no, we're going to focus on ourselves and keep it moving. But Ryan and Dusty, I have to say, have always, they always helped us and they helped every other team as well as loud and sometimes annoying uh, they could be, they were always there for us. So yeah. when we got to the Olive Garden, uh, Olive Garden, the, the <laughs> Olive Tree. tree. <laughs> I told Lala, I told, that's such a little thing to say. I told Lala, do we tell them or do we not? Because we had agreed that we were going to work together. So I'm like, let me secure the clue first and make sure I have it. And then something inside of me was like, I can't do this to the guys. I can't, they helped us before. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, let's well, tell them. Not like karma. Uh, if we don't say anything, when we just leave, it could bite us in the, in the ass along the way. So we're like, let's just tell them and you know. Let's stay true to ourselves and yeah. just tell them. And so we did, and we made it to uh, uh, Mariana's together. Yeah. Perhaps if we wouldn't have told them, we would have gotten lost. Yeah, so I maybe. think it was a good idea that we stuck together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all were also so fun to watch because you like flirted with some of the, these international men along the way, you know, telling that Greek guy he had beautiful <laughs> eyes on the way out. Were these like exotic hotties a distraction for you in the race? <laughs> oh my God. So when I got to the church, I knew that we are done. And so I remember looking over at Lala and communicating with her eyes, like, hey, let's just, let's I just, sat down, started trying to take So it I took down. in the sermon mm -hmm. and I was just enjoying it. By the way, she I started with the priest too. <laughs> she was like, you're so, you have really nice eyes too. I'm like, oh my God. Um, I was just being friendly. If that's flirty, then I'm guilty. Um, but I just took it in and I'm like, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out the way I want and I'm just going to have fun. Um, I did not get it on the first shot. I love how they um, made it seem like I was, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. No, I, I actually took two or three times for me to actually get it. Um, but I honestly did not mind because that man was gorgeous. Those eyes were beautiful. So I kind of like, let me take my time and just be here for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and just, you know, Greek goddess, my goodness. The yeah. men were just funny how like you see so many good looking men overseas and it's like well the world does have a lot more to offer. yeah totally. <laughs> so overall give me a highlight what was your favorite leg or your favorite task to complete 
my favorite leg um, was Lugano. Uh, I had the best time, you know, from stuffing sausages to bungee jumping, which is something that I really wanted to do, and I was able to do it. It was just so gorgeous. And the other one I wanted to say was the camping, which they really didn't show, um, but there is a YouTube video out there. Um, but that was so much fun because after racing all day and after the kayaking and just a stressful day to just chill with the cast. And, and really get to know one another and, and understand, like, everything that – Everyone went through through the pandemic. It's very humbling, and it was just so cool. Like, wow, these people are amazing. Like, I'm so happy that we got to meet. So I think those two things really stand out to me. For me, um, one of the my favorite legs was also in Switzerland when I had to climb um, Saint, up Mount St. Tees, 8,000 feet above sea level. I was right there, right behind Ryan. I never thought that I would be able to do that so quickly. Um, yeah. The views up there were just beautiful. You could see all the different countries surrounding, and uh, it just—it was just breathtaking. I felt like I was in a Bob Ross painting. You definitely want to go yeah. back. Yeah, and it was, and like you said, the camping also was. And was we have never cool. been camping, so to sleep, you know, in the, out in the wild and have bugs around you and all that—that that was pretty cool. Yeah. Not to be most comfortable, but it was cool. Yeah. Eating the now, maggot cheese was different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that again? <laughs> no, I'll take a, it's a hard pass for me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been asking everybody about this, like, you know, historic 19 month stop down. What was that like for you to have that big space in between these sort of two legs of the amazing race? Well, for me, it was, it was, it was combination. It was like, all right, cool. We have a second chance better prepare but at the same time it's like oh my god I got a taste of what the race is like and it's intense do mm -hmm. I want to pull myself through this anxiety again <laughs> will yeah. I be able to handle it but um we at first didn't think we were going to get called back we thought that the season was going to be a wash um but it was so good to see everyone well those that came back come back and see we them. actually took the time to do a brush up a little bit more on our cardio because we realized in Scotland and in London that we were lagging um, behind and so we're like we need to up our, our cardio we have to physically get stronger because compared to Spencer and Anthony and Jesse and Ryan I mean those two oh, yeah. sets of guys were just beef um, we started doing puzzles on our phones just to get the hmm. brain going yeah. and we started memorizing all the flags again and the capitals and just learning different words like help thank you um, in different oh, languages Lord. Stop. Good for you guys. So we took that time. To... And six just driving. I mastered that. Mm -hmm. So now I could go on any uh, car and drive that bad boy. Yeah. Yes. Something we should have taken <laughs> was map lessons is what we should have taken. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Greek spelling. You just didn't know you'd need Greek spelling. <laughs> no. Exactly. Oh gosh. What Was there a strategy about choosing roadblocks? Like who was going to do what? Do you guys have different strengths that you had planned out? It's, it's funny you yeah. say that because normally I am the one that's stronger and I pay attention to detail a lot, whereas Lala has more of the endurance and she could do a little bit more of the uh, physical activities better. But we kind of switched roles, so I really should have been the one to have climbed Mount San I should have been the one to have done the canyon. Um, I should have been the one to I done all the physical stuff, <laughs> and I should have been the one doing everything like else. Making the bagpipes and rolling the damales, and but we didn't. We kind of like switched roles, and I think it it kind of worked out to our advantage. Um, but that was kind of weird for us. It's like something is off here. Like, yeah. Did we go with it or just try and change it up? So, yeah, it was weird that, for us. That ideally, it was like you take on the physical, and I'll take on. The other stuff. The it, stuff like it, it kind of threw us for a loop too, because we were like, what is going on here? You're acting like me. I'm acting like you. I'm not used to this. <laughs> What's yeah. happening here? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, obviously y'all are twins. Y'all work together. You are used to doing things together. But what did you love the most about getting to run the amazing race with each other? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> since we work together and we live together, you know, a lot of the way that we live our lives is just whatever issue we have, whatever little issue, we just put it to the side and we don't pay much mind to it. 
But on The Amazing Race, those little things became big, big things. And I think that's why we argued so much at the beginning, because we didn't talk about it. We were just mean to each other, and just nitpicking and instigating. Up energy and stuff. And it was like, we look, looking back, and like, oh, we're so mean to each other. Like, we're always preaching to our listeners, like, be positive. Be positive and be kind and be empathetic. And we're here being hypocrites. Like, what the hell is wrong with us? But I think it was, I enjoyed racing with you because I, like, the quirkiness that we have that a lot of people always tell us, like, oh, you guys are funny. I'm like, I don't think we're funny. I think we're just <laughs> us. <laughs> we do dumb things sometimes. Uh, but looking back, I'm like, we had, we really did have fun. And we really did make the best and did the best that we could. And I think just going on this journey and just visiting all these countries that we never thought we were ever going to visit um, with my best friend, uh, I mean, that's something that I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. And to <laughs> have it on. It's funny because there were many shots of like us running. I could not tell who was who. I'm like, is that me running? I don't. Yeah. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's my voice, but I can't. It was, I understand now what people see when they see us. Yeah. Right. I saw it, where I'm like, I don't even know who I am here. Is it you running or is it me? So that was pretty that was fun. Yeah, it was. I'm <laughs> glad that you can understand our perspective when I watch you guys like this. I think Lala, you have like a slight chin dimple and I can yes. tell you guys apart, but when you're just like running through a race, I'm like, I don't know which one yeah. is that. Uh, yeah. I yeah. I also just noticed we have the same uh, microphone. Yes. Hobby Lobby. That's yes. <laughs> Yeah, I have something in common with you guys. Yeah, okay. Well, it was so wonderful to chat with you guys. Thank you yeah. so much. We love you guys. Thank you so much for having us. We adore oh. you guys. I think you guys are hilarious. And uh, the banter, we love, like, we, we love the comments today because we're watching your video yesterday, oh. this morning. Um, so thank you guys for doing what you do. And always being oh. so like happy and positive. We try, we try. Nice thank to meet you. you. Likewise. Bye.